what's happening guys we are day 22 back in the sauna after a little bit of break and oh let's see there we go make sure we're turned on here a little bit of preheat not too much uh this is day 22 of 30 for 30 sauna challenge back in the sauna was well, been fighting off a cold so it took a couple um took a couple days rest not really trying to rest from sauna usage really but just trying to let um <clears throat> energy recover and everything else I'm trying to do um i'm gonna try to stream again tonight hey cc how are you uh, i'll basically stream until this thing overheats um this is a much better picture quality <laughs> than the wired camera that i've been using uh <clears throat> no one here at least from what i see hey chris how's it going uh, give it time. There's um, a couple people that just logged on. There was no preview tonight, so um, there wasn't a chance to do the waiting room. I'm not using the computer. We got the um, the camera inside the sauna again. Lighting is pretty good. Thanks, Cece. Yeah, this is much better. Usually the um, COVID cold. No, probably not, Josh. <laughs> How's it going? <clears throat> How's your sauna stuff doing, Josh? Did you get your lights figured out or... or um, mounted and all that stuff everything going good but yeah there's not such a terrible shadow and this is quicker too the other thing is really slow on autofocus but um turn that off what about 120 degrees not much preheat chat sorry won't be on here long after watch replay good night good to see you chat electrician next week Josh, why are you not here in O-Town with us? <laughs> uh, take it easy, chat. I know it's Friday night. <clears throat> Hope you have a good one. Um, not too much on the agenda tonight. Just getting back in the sauna for the first time. Hey, Dan, how's it going? Um, I know some people had... Chet said some people had some questions about Clearlight saunas, Radiant Health saunas, and some portable saunas, I think, from last night. I was not able to find those. I was going to place them in the chat. And... Um, try to answer those folks questions i just couldn't find them so if anybody on here has questions about any particular uh sauna if it's one of the models that i have i can either take you inside of it answer your questions shoot a video for you later hey truth fighter how are you happy friday <laughs> good to see everybody man this camera is so much better it's quicker like the the focus and everything is much much better it's a little close but it's because the arm isn't exactly where you'd want it, but that's okay. Uh, what's shaking with you guys? Anybody have anything uh, to use a backrest? I feel like it's just in the way. I do not, Josh. I don't usually lean on these things. Do you personally have the Radiant Health? Yes, I do, Elizabeth. I have more than one Radiant Health sauna. Uh, what cam? It's great. Right now, this is just the, um, I think it's iPhone X. R, X, S, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, that's why I was saying we're, I'm just going to let it stream. We'll do another test. There's no case. There's no nothing on it. <laughs> I'll, do, well, I'll just let it stream until it overheats. And uh, when it overheats or if I disappear or it goes black, um, <laughs> the, the live stream is over for tonight. <laughs> uh, Taylor says, <clears throat> do I have any reviews of saunas from Costco? Yes. Some older ones. Uh, I have a new one on order to test it because people keep asking. They came out with some new ultra low model and everyone keeps asking me if the heaters are truly different. I have no idea. The only way to check to see if there's really been an improvement is to get in one and test it in the same environment um, as the other ones that you tested. So we'll see. There's one on order, um, but there's delays for that too. So I just got an email tonight saying that there's some, some port delay in Los Angeles or something, I guess, wherever they import them from. And so whenever, whenever that delay gets cleared up, um, then they'll ship it to the East Coast and I can get it, I guess, delivered then. So I guess it's going to be the end of December. I've already paid for it. ordered it last month. Um, yeah, it's probably not going to be fast enough for you. Um, uh, Taylor, I mean, I have no control over it though. So whenever I get it and whenever I can do it that's i don't i don't have a date for that or anything but eventually it'll happen too many people have requested it so i want to see easy thought it was somewhere outside the u.s <laughs> chris is still trying to fly josh down <laughs> chris wants to do three guys one sauna two's not enough 
<laughs> You're welcome, Taylor. Uh, have you used one before, by the way? Like, did you go to a health spa or something and you used it, you liked it, and just decided to order it? Or did you see one at your local Costco? Just out of curiosity. A lot of folks come across them in different ways. I don't know what the, um, like, what the standard, uh, whatchamacallit is these days, but... <clears throat> going on five minutes now, guys. I'm only going to do a half an hour tonight. Sometimes we run pretty long on these, but I am back in the sauna for the first time after a couple day break. So don't want to, um, don't want to be in here too long. I'll get a decent sweat. I'm already sweating on my back. Uh, obviously I need to shave my beard. I'm getting itchy. How about three guys in three different saunas all on zoom? Yes. Feeling much better. <laughs> Truth provider. Thank you. Uh, Dan. Yeah. If, um, if somebody knows how to use OBS software, uh, really, really well. I can make them a moderator and we can actually do it live on uh, YouTube. But there's no way to do it live on YouTube, I don't think, and connect to Zoom if I'm... I could be wrong on that, actually. But yeah, that'd be interesting. <laughs> Chris is like, no, we need to be in the same room, <laughs> in the same hot box. Let's do FaceTime three-person sauna mat. <laughs> okay, I don't know how you record that though. You can record the screen, it's built into the phones, but I'm not sure about the audio from all three sources. You'd have to put it up for replay. It wouldn't be, um, most likely, you're never gonna be live though, like on YouTube. So no one else be able to comment. You mean like a private um, FaceTime? Is that ice water? It is, no electrolytes tonight. Poiser. Po is that right, Poiser 68? Is that how you say it? Chris wants to feel my body up against his. Man, you guys get weird quick, don't you? Hopefully one of you has an excuse like, yeah, I'm in the sauna, I'm getting kind of dehydrated. Good to see you, Poiser. How you doing? If you have any questions or topics, uh, toss, them in the, uh, toss them in the chat if it's your first time here. I don't recognize your username, but good to have you. Um, this is day 20-something. I grew a COVID beard. Not sure how long I'll keep it. Could be a wet beard in the sauna, which may not be fun. Find my first time. Cool. Yeah, this is um, <clears throat> me in the sauna for 30 days for 30 minutes, trying to do live, answer people's sauna questions, um, me actually sweating in the sauna. So if there's relevant questions that people want to know, instead of trying to talk about it, we can just show it here on the screen. And then I'm also doing a personal challenge to, uh, you know, sauna for 30 days in a row, which I broke a couple of days ago. Uh, I was fighting off a cold, so I decided to take a break. Usually the first thing I would do is hop in a sauna if I were to get a cold. But does your scalp get super dry in the sauna mat? No, it does not. Is that your only um, dry skin? Is it okay if you use your phone in the sauna or should you leave it outside? Uh, Elizabeth, it's going to overheat at some point. Probably like you'll see tonight. I've got usually about 20 to 25 minutes, maybe. If the screen goes black or I freeze or I don't come back, that's what happened. <laughs> so if you want, I'll just leave it on tonight until it overheats and then you'll uh <laughs> the proof will be in the pudding blue devil says i bought dan's book and was wondering if you have to make the call make the cow mag or can you buy the liquid from the store pre-mixed uh in my understanding you could do either one dan's on here live though so i'll just let him answer it for you he is username get detoxinated but you can make cow mag yourself or there's plenty of people that sell it too if you don't want to but that's my opinion i don't know if um he wants you to do it a certain way for a particular protocol uh but he'll chime in and let you know <laughs> Um, what was that for, did Poiser or someone else have any, uh, questions? Oh, Josh, is it just your scalp that gets super dry or is it other skin too? Cause it could be just a sign of dehydration or, um, lacking something that is getting depleted. Message me on Facebook if you can, Blue Devil. Um, grew COVID moves, trying to step up my sauna game, coupled with a new physically demanding job to get looking lean like Matt. Matt is not yet lean. Matt has been slacking on his workouts all week. So uh, watching the videos on YouTube, body radiant health sauna in January, just put it up two months ago using your construction video. So thanks. It made it so easy. Awesome. Poiser. Yeah. That's the whole idea. So it's, it's the easiest sauna that I have ever put together. Hands down. When it comes to connecting the wires, the way the walls slip together, just everything, the way they package it, it's awesome. So happy you're having a <clears throat> good luck with it. How many times have you used it? Are you enjoying it? What temperature are you using at? Do you have any questions? I am in one right now. So if you do have questions, I could probably help you uh, right now live. Um, but it sounds like you're probably off to a good uh, start. Truth Rider, Matt, Saturday nights, I'm not home, won't see your stream, but wish you fun tomorrow. Thanks, Truth Rider. I appreciate it. 
Uh, have fun, whatever you're up to. Uh, Elizabeth says, Yummy 2 just ordered my ra Radiant Health because of reviews. Should be here in eight weeks. Awesome, Elizabeth. That's not bad. Some of the sauna delivery times right now, like, um, I think David was telling me some of the clear light stuff, not shipping until March of 2021. That seems crazy to me, but... John says, thanks for your help. Got an IS-2 several months ago and like it. Small problem with the plastic seal at the hinge side of the door cracking, but they sent me a new one. Awesome, John. Was that, um, did you order that from, did David send you a new part or did you, do you get a warranty through, um, Clearlight directly? Just wasn't sure if, uh, if you need any more follow-up help, just let me know whoever you were working with and can shoot them an email to make sure you're well taken care of. But it sounds like they're, they're treating you well. <laughs> directly. Cool. Awesome. You need anything or it was just that they help you um figure out how to replace it or it was pretty simple i don't know poiser says 45 minutes every day at the highest around 140 degrees then i jump into the cold salt water pool that's awesome protocol there you go a little cold thermogenesis after um after a nice hot session that's good you liking it so far it sounds like um i don't have a salt water pool but that sounds awesome i would definitely do that faux show uh, what were the other questions in here? John says everything's okay. Cool. Awesome. Uh, what else? Got an IS2. We get that. Elizabeth got her. Truth provider. Uh, Poiser. Chris. <laughs> uh, have you seen pictures of what the sauna factories look like in China? Sure, I have in the past. You mean, is there something new going on? How big is the sauna that I'm in now? This is an E2H. So this is a Radiant Health um, two-person. It's about, I don't know, however, it's whatever the dimensions of the, the two-person model. It's probably about, I don't know, four or five feet wide, something like that, somewhere in the middle. Almost 50 inches, 50-something 50 inches, I would imagine. Um, but the model number is definitely E2H. Poiser says, love it, love it. Just converted the pool from chlorine. Ooh, that was a good choice. Good, good choice. I'm 12 minutes in. We're at 127 degrees, not much preheat. I'm starting to really sweat. I don't know if the lights will demonstrate, but a little, little quicker sweat in the rectangular than in the, um, than in the corner sauna. I still like the, um, I still like the comfort and the movability, like the ability to put your legs up and, uh, move around in the corner, but man, the power of the two person because the heaters are in close proximity is definitely uh, nice. You just get a quicker, it's a definitely a little quicker sweat. It's been cool in Florida. It was like 40 something degrees a couple days ago. So a um, little temperature change here. Not where, not sure where everybody is that's in the chat. True Fighter says, are the factories big? Must be busy. Oh, wow. This is getting hot already. So if for some reason the, the uh, live chat shuts off or the video goes dark, guys, I just overheated and I'll probably just call it a night if that happens. <laughs> but I would expect another 10 minutes or so before the, um, before the live stream overheats. Um, let's see. Are the factories big? Must be busy making so many. Yeah, they're huge. They make um, saunas in batches. Um, usually they'll do an order of um, several hundred at a time. That doesn't mean that they're all on the floor getting final assembly done at the same time, but they, uh, they ship out a lot. Um, let's see. Could you sit in an L shape with your legs on the bench if you wanted, or is it too small for that? I don't know what you mean, Elizabeth. Could I sit in an L shape with my legs on the bench? Um, I don't know how to show you that because <laughs> this thing is so close. Uh, I mean, I can sit, I'm up against the left wall and my knee is up and I basically have my arms resting on them and you can't even see the other wall. So I'm not sure that doesn't really give you <clears throat> good perspective, but I don't know what you mean by an, an L position. It's not a corner sauna, so there's no L bench in it. Um, but yep, that's where I'm at Lake Worth. Could not believe the weather. Yeah. Josh says, are you using infrared light bulbs, Matt? No. No, um, are you talking about the supplemental ones in the ceiling? I am not. They're completely off. Like with your back against one of the walls. Um, you mean with my legs completely up with no bend in them, Elizabeth? No, but I'm probably a little big for that. <laughs> it's just not quite wide enough for me to stretch my legs out with not, without the knees bent. You mean like stretch all the way out? No. 
pretty close, but it's um if you look at the internal dimensions on the Radiant Health Sauna's website for this particular sauna, it um, should be around the 50 inch mark. So if you're, I don't know, six feet tall or so, there's not quite enough room to stretch your legs completely out with no bend, but it's, it's definitely plenty spacious for one or two people. Uh, let's see. Are the ceiling lamps in the Radiant Health Sauna LED bulbs? Yes. The one that I'm in right now, at least they are. Are you, are you talking about the chromotherapy? Because those are LED too. Poiser says there's a woman named Christine. She, along with the green smoothie lady, have a new sauna claiming it goes up to 170 degrees. Their video presentation last week almost had buyer's remorse. Uh, don't, Poiser. You'll be fine. You don't need that. Um, let's see. What did I miss? Josh says, when are we doing three guys, one sauna? You'll have to talk to Chris about that, Josh. I think he's spearheading that. Um, I don't know if... <laughs> oh, wow. Silver Gunner, Colorado Rockies, 40 degrees out. Nice. Hey, are you guys getting snowfall? I have a relative that's in uh, Colorado right now. Just curious if um, how the snow is. They were planning on renting a sled, doing a little snowmobiling, but I think that might have gotten canceled. I think the trails were bare. Man, this is getting hot. I don't want to just shut off already. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, even though it might ruin my sweat a little bit. I'm going to crack the door, just try and let some heat out and um, try to cool this down 